Brian, let's talk about key person insurance in a business. First of all, what is a key person and why do you need insurance on that person? Yeah, a key person insurance is life insurance on maybe the owner or a top executive or other critical person. It could be your general manager, uh, somebody that uh, if they weren't there for a period of time, the business would suffer. Uh, the business is going to suffer anyway, of course, if someone passes away uh, that's important to that business. So uh, immediately I'd say, well, it's probably generally a good idea to have key person insurance. Not that money will solve everything, uh, but it sure helps sometimes. I mean, if you had a, a key manager or executive, uh, and again, the owner, and they aren't around anymore, you might need some money to kind of bridge the gap. You might have to spend uh, extra money to uh, fill in that void uh, for a period of time or you need some time to kind of re reassess the business and rework it. Uh, that can cost, you know, take money. Uh, you also might want to have a buyout uh, arrangement. Let's say that you have a, an owner who is, is getting up there a bit in years and wants to have uh, liquidity in case they pass away to pay off their estate. So that might be a, another reason to have key person insurance. Is key person insurance just based on the death of a key person? Do you just get it on that? Or is disability something that you can get an insurance policy against too? Absolutely, you can get a disability uh, uh, policy too. Uh, here I'm talking about, yeah, about the death of a person with a life insurance. There's also, uh, there, there's, uh, insurance policies where you have multiple partners they might take it out on each other uh, so that the liquidity uh, again is there to buy out the estate of the one that passed away and to help that business uh, go through a tough time where they're missing one of their key people so that's kind of the definition of key person insurance it could be anybody uh, at the firm somebody that uh, will be a significant setback if they're not around um, now one of the things about life insurance is you've got to uh, pass the physical and so and and you can't be you know you might have a uh, have somebody really old come to me and kind of well I just had you know double bypass surgery and I'm, I'm 82 I'm ready for that key person insurance well you're not going to get it uh, they're not going to approve that. So uh, when you're thinking about uh, key person insurance, you might want to buy it earlier rather than later. Sometimes you just need it for a period of time. So you might buy a term insurance policy. It's cheaper, uh, but at the you know you'll pay money into it and probably get nothing out of it. You know as long as you don't die during that term, you know, 10 years, 20 years, whatever it is. Or you might buy a permanent insurance policy that has an asset value behind it, and that can be a, a, an employee benefit too uh, if you do it that way. Do most insurance companies that sell life insurance also sell key person insurance? Yes, they do. Uh, I would say virtually all of them would, would sell it. Not everybody understands it. And, and, and one of the main things is it has to be part of the financial plan. There, there has to be a, a reason for it, a good reason. You, you don't want to overbuy insurance. Uh, but of course, when you need it, you need it. And so most people should have some kind of life insurance, I would say. Uh, unless you're you're single, no kids, and you, you don't have anything, you don't have any heirs whatsoever, or charitable interest, and all, all that kind of thing, and maybe you don't need it at all. But for most of us, uh, we might want to have some kind of life insurance in our in our plan. Are the premiums for key person insurance less when you're much younger? What I mean is that can you get an insurance policy on a key person when they're say? 30 and have that policy, you know, go till they're 80 years old. Well, even beyond that, and that, you know, if they were 30, I would suggest they might want a permanent life insurance policy because, uh, you know, you buy a term policy for 20 years, it only takes you through 50. And I'll say, well, you're probably not going to get any benefit from that. That's just money out, out your pocket. Uh, you know, you'll have some peace of mind, but you probably won't get the, the life insurance proceeds for anyone. Whereas a permanent insurance policy can follow you around your whole life and grow tax deferred and eventually you can take money out tax free someday. So, you know, it depends. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, there's all kinds of situations that you may or may not need life insurance. I will say, yes, uh, life insurance is cheaper the younger you are. So if you're thinking you're going to want it someday, probably better to buy it now rather than wait because it will be more if you wait and less now. If you have more than one key person in your business, is it common to have life insurance, key person insurance policies on several different people? Yes, it is. Key people, uh, a key person, it could be multiple people. So uh, yeah, that, that can be, uh, and like I said, it could be an employee benefit too if you structure it right. So just something to think about if you've got a business. Brian, thanks for telling us more about uh, key person life insurance.